Hello, we're special agents, cyberpunks, and good guys. Welcome back to Deus Ex Human Revolution and playing out ball. So, there are these guys patrolling up there. And it's looking downstairs. And I believe, looking at the guy, is he ever turning away from us? Kind of not, but I think now it's the time. Yeah. Down there's another one. But we switched off the cameras over there. Let's wait for him. So we can't go on the right side as we experience because there's this turret in the way. Here, yeah, like a ghost. Quick saving. Actually, let's go like so. I'd actually like to check out what's going on over, over there. But maybe we need to go through the middle. Oh, we can go into this door, okay. Let's do that first. Maybe we can actually... Oh, yeah. That's good. We can actually hack something here. Oh, there's something. Pocket secretary. Got it, JM. Everything's in play. Martha and I will be the only FEMA reps here for the duration. But if something goes wrong, you'll need to remotely wipe my workstation using these codes. I ping you when they've decamped. All these guys, right? But it's good for us or anybody who can't hack. Nothing here. They also leave all their credits behind, which is also good for us. But I guess they were quite in a hurry. We oh, are yeah, combat rifle ammo. Gun guards and another forgotten credit chip, even 170. That's nice. Good. All right. Quick saving. And I think, like, is someone looking from there? I guess so. But yeah, I guess we could wait for this guy to turn around again because we are standing here. I'm sure he will see us. Here, yeah, that guy. That there. That guy there. Unless we are building a little tower make, make, uh, out of these boxes here. Yeah, we could do that. Let's do that. While well, the guy is walking around anyway. Oh, he's looking into our direction. That's at least what our head radar tells us. If it's even possible with these uh, boxes, if it's enough. Nah. That wasn't the idea. Nah, come on. And then we've got two more here. Okay, he's not looking. 
Where is he? That's not. Not sure if that is actually working out now. Nah. So now, quick saving, getting into the system, hacking, oh that's a nice one, 25%. Access granted. Nicely done. Project McFlee, Mark, and preparation of the arrival and subsequent uh, occupancy by our mutual friends. Please make sure to transfer all code orange, code red, and top secret files to your external hard drive and delete said files from your computer before 2100, 2400 Saturday. Maybe lending them our facility, but there's no reason we should have to compromise US government secrets any further than that, Joseph Mendeley. What the? Second time in six months. What the? Access for these mercs? Damn, forgot about that. Set them up in the conference room, workstation, blah, blah, blah. Make sure it's completely firewalled from the internal network and be sure to wipe the hard drive the minute they are gone. You'll probably need to set all security computers to a single login and passcode too. Uh, not a bitch around or anything, but I'm to assume they'll need a temporary workstation. They asked for it last time. Yeah. Okay, well, I think that worked out nicely now. Let me go here. Okay, yep, so the guy didn't see anything. That's good. I had hoped to kind of deactivate some of the cameras, though. Nice. We are never saying no to tranquilizer darts. More credit chips there and... Okay, then this guy. Yeah. So I'm fairly sure if we start to hack that one, then they... Oh, there's another worm there. Then they will... Machine pistol. Then these guys will start shooting and see us. But let's try it. Once this guy... Where is he? Ah, he's coming. Okay. He's coming here again. The question is, of course, if he can even see us from from there. Maybe not. So, just look to our right right now and watch the guy. Ah, oh, that's also a nice setup. 25 detection. Fortify, uh, let's fortify it. There you go. Access granted. Very nice indeed. Dead staff pursuant to Article 7. Section of the music. What's with the music? Pursuant to Article 7, Section 2 of the Revised Homeland Security Act, 2012, National Blah Blah Blah. All oh yeah. So they did see us there, okay. Yeah. Well then. We need to take them out first. We need to take them out first. <coughs> and uh, yeah.
I guess that will be quite challenging with all the cameras on. But I guess we can manage. Right. Is this camera there? Or maybe even... Guys looking away. Ah, there's something there. What's that? Another EMP grenade. That is very nice and welcome. Nuke and stun gun dart. Oh, I think we if we if we hack here, no one can see us probably. So let's do that. Oh no, okay, well they can see us. Yeah, that guy can see us. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, it's horrible, but uh, we don't have any peas to do our peaceful hacking. So we need to, yeah, break some arms, I guess. And disconnect the oxygen supply to some brains there. Oh. There you go, and I we are carrying you away immediately. Combat rifle ammo, yeah, why not? Quick saving. The question is, what about that? That one there. That is the biggest question right now. If this one can see us. Yeah, just just stop breathing for a while. No. Doesn't look like they they saw us there, okay. Sniper. That's actually good. So I guess the angle is actually not in a way that it looks uh, that it can see the whole area so that's fine. So now we should be able there's another one there okay. But we should be able to uh, to hack everything now. So there's just one guard over there now and over there it's it's free okay. And then we only have the cameras okay good. Could even hack this one now. Although well, this is just the alarm panel, I think. Hacking, it's just two. Okay, very nice. It's 15. Typical. Typical. Access granted. There you go, inactive. Anybody alarmed? Doesn't look like it. Not the guy, didn't notice anything. Okay, good. Got everything. Very nice indeed. Let's close the door just in case. And now let's take this one. That is more difficult. Oh, that's also an interesting setup. Clearance there. Let's do the clearance first, good. Spam. To reduce their 
reaction. This one first and then that one. Because it doesn't, it has zero protection chance. Well, and actually, ah, well, let's take this one as well. Then we are complete here. And that was just typical, right? Access granted. 100, black hat. Nice, that is, that's the cameras, excellent. No door connected. Yeah, you go off and on this one here, yeah, that's also, yeah, that's the one there. Okay, good, excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. That's how we like it, right? Quick save. And now for that guy over there. So all these cameras are offline over there. That's good. Yep, offline. Excellent. Okay, he's going around like so. Doesn't suspect a thing. Yeah, we could be in a very bad position here, though. Yeah, I think we are in a very bad position. He's going to see us. Oh, he isn't. Oh, he's not. Okay, good. You come with us behind those boxes. Just in case we can't get there. Ah, well. Then like this. And you go there like so. All right, but that was smooth, right? That was smooth. Okay then, and then we can circle around. And then we freed the upper floor from any hostiles that could also look down on us. Nothing here. It's all fine. Now we can... What do we have here? Tranquilizer darts. That's very welcome. Very nice. Now let's have this one. Uh, let's hack this one. Ah, that's 45. Well, let's go here first. 25 and 15. Could fortify this one. For 35. Uh, through there. Yeah, this is like the biggest threat right now. Ah, uh, typical. Access That's granted. Fine. Okay, so new processing procedure. Please note that effective immediately. Detaining, arriving, and blah blah. Faxel must be referred to medical OP, uh, DPMT for surgical implantation of tracking chips before being installed in the cell blocks. Oh, 
On no circumstances are detainees to be informed of the reason for their deferment. Note, laser shackles to be detached only upon cell block inoculation. inoculation. And that's interesting. That's of course quite the human rights uh, violation, right? Implanting them with chips, but yeah. Increases the security. Um, okay, everything else we know already. Here, this, this uh, evacuation thing. And this one we also read, the security breach with the FEMA, the government guy. So there we go. And then we have another alarm field here. Just in case we are hacking this one too. Also, we just love to hack. And also there is some stuff to get out of their system, right? Going for the lowest percentage first. Clearance this one. Oh, come on. Come on up there. Access granted. God. Stop warm and another 75. Gray head and active. Very nice. So, but that was a close one. Quick save and we had the alarm on for quite a while, but up here no one no one cares. And uh, the guys down there, they are just trusting that their colleagues up here are doing their jobs right. So and then we were here. I think we did we hack this one? I think we did, right? Everything's fine. Yeah, we didn't forget anything. Disconnecting. Didn't forget anything. We hacked this one. Oh no, we didn't. Okay. Quick save. Hacking. That's where the guy looked at us, right? 25. 15 Let's have this 15 first and That 15 This data Access granted Go there Dead staff memo, priority level one, pursuant to article seven, blah, blah, blah. All construction maintenance staff will be required to vacate the building. Okay, we already know that one. Second time in six months, WTF, right? What could WTF mean? Listen, Martha, I told you everything I know. I have no idea what these special forces are doing here, and I don't intend to ask why the orders came from the head office uh, just like last time. I know you think there are other influences involved, and you may be right. This department has always had voices in the dark whispering in our ears, and I wouldn't go around asking too many questions if I were you. Just try to be patient until these guys leave, and we can have our facility back. Okay. Well, it's foreseeable that some somebody will not be too happy with losing their workplace for a while but what we take out of this is that uh, whoever is involved does have connections to the government so this whole thing runs deep right this whole thing runs deep we're leaving the sniper rifle behind and then we're going through that door so just double checking that this here we already hacked okay then we are done here on this level that is nice indeed and I think we came from here right or did we Yeah, I think so.
Or let's check this out. Jensen, no, I think that frequency we tracked just got a burst of activity. I think these guys might be pulling out. Yeah, I've kind of been getting that feeling. Any idea who's running the show? They're using some kind of code. But from what oh, I can crap. gather, the guy giving the orders is still a level below you. Nice job, Bridge. Let's hear let's hear that later. So we need to get lower, of course, but we wanted to get to this level uh under this one. Right? Because we just uh, took out their sniper support and their overview. So where was it? Where did we get downstairs? Okay, to this level. Was it there? Or down there? I think probably over there. Yeah, no, there was the, the office. Or is there actually no connection? Now that can't be right. We hack this one. Is the elevator or something? So here, I guess, right? No. Oh no, actually here. This is it. Tension block D. Ah oh, yeah, we've been here before. Okay, yeah, that's good. And we checked everything here, right? Yeah, it's already unlocked. Okay, that's fine. Oh yeah, there are some guys. Okay. Oh, we are we are in a very bad uh, in a very bad situation there though. Yeah, no. Because the turret is there. Okay, but it's uh, it is circulating. Not sure about this guy. If he's looking. In our direction, what we'll we are going to find out. Oh, yeah, actually, I think this is uh, we are not supposed to be here. Can we go back behind that one over there? I've got a possible vision. Yeah. 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 Probably not possible. I will this uh, this is like the Ah there. Okay no, it's also not possible. This is just detention, the detention uh, area. We could we could uh, neutralize the guys with our tranquilizer darts from the upper level though, I guess. And that's probably the best. 
that's probably the best solution, huh? Yeah. They're just they they see everything there. And there's also oops. There's no other Yeah. Just this these stairs there. Those Oh no, actually. Yeah, so actually no, it's these stairs. They are they are good, I think. They should be good. So we need to get there. Okay. Let's see if that is correct. ones right and then let's go over here there was nothing behind these boxes right now good Yeah, no, on this side it's a very bad idea because there's the turret. Okay, good. Yeah, and then then uh Jensen, uh, we are we are having the call with the guy. Jensen, that frequency we tracked just got a burst of activity. I think these guys might be pulling out. Yeah, I've kind of been getting that feeling. Any idea who's running the show? They're using some kind of code. But from what I can gather, the guy giving the orders is still a level below you. Nice job, Richard. I'll find him. Okay, nice. Okay, well, actually, we are quick enough. There is a computer terminal there, that's good. With some boxes that we could use to block the view, I guess. Try it. We put it like there. No, not really. Oh, come on. No. Like that. Try it. Hacking. Oh, nice one. Interesting. Twenty-five. That was obvious, right? Like right the first one. Does the thing see us? Oh no, okay, no, actually it's fine. Okay.
gonna have those data caches. Oh, the spam is a uh, very high detection probability. Let's get this one. Oh, that has zero now, that's nice. Good. Let's fortify this one. And then we are we have to do the spam. Could nuke it of course. Yeah, let's nuke it. Capture zero. Fortification. Twenty-five over here, then let's get this one. Access granted. Very nice. Very nice indeed, I would say. Oh, and we have another camera. Oh, yeah, that's this one here, right? Yeah. Switching it off. Okay, disconnecting. Oh, that's nice. Good, good, good. Yep, that was it. All right. Oh, a reload speed upgrade. Yeah. That is... That is welcome, right? Load speed upgrade combine with our 10mm pistol. Oh, well, actually the tranquilizer rifle now. Let's use it with the pistol, just in case, so like this. Quick saving. Very nice indeed. So and now, let's have a look. This here goes to an elevator. Ah yeah, that's the that is the way to the mercenary leader. So let us first go the other way. Yeah. Because we definitely need to take a look at the ladies' bathroom, right? That is good tradition. Oh, I think there's no one here. There's something green though. Two green people. Non-hostiles. Just checking out. Ah, yeah. Okay, two civilians. All right. All right then. Credits. Two hundreds even. Okay. Painkillers. where it looks like we are really tall, huh? Stop warm software. Combat rifle ammo. Sniper rifle ammo. More sniper rifle. Well, now this now it's the thing. The combat rifle ammo is really something. Let's drop this one. Sniper rifle is way rarer, more rare. Oh, there is something up here. Oh no, but we can't interact with it. Okay, that's fine. 
so like this then. There is an alarm panel to hack for us. So like we are addicted to hacking at this point, I guess. Hacking it. Oh yeah, that's an easy one. Or relatively easy at least. What? Uh, what happened? So. Oh, the guy saw us. Oh. Okay, well then, under these circumstances, I, think, I guess we have to sneak around them or something. Or can we actually maybe build another little mountain of boxes? Do we have anything around here? Yes, there's one there. And then we have those ones there. Uh, oh, we destroyed it. Oh, that's not good. Like this, right? But let's just make sure that we that we have some other boxes. Oh well, we can carry them from somewhere else, but uh, it would be rather unfortunate. Yeah, there's nothing else here, but I think it will be fine. So I'm I'm saving over it. We don't have to do everything again. Fine, right? Come on. What? Oh, it again. If I click too quickly on OK, um, and the mouse pointer is like with the right half of it uh, over the uh, the stop area I, I think then it can actually activate the stop warm Access granted. There you go. An active. Yeah, they didn't see us. Good. Quick saving. They didn't see us that way. That's good. Ah, the men's restroom. Ah, let's have a look in there. Maybe there's something on there's something here. What's that? Cyber Boost Pro Energy Jar. Oh. We could have a, a refreshing soft drink. Taste the splash. Well. I mean, like, we have really a lot of uh, ammunition. And that jar, that jar seems to be more interesting. Shotgun cartridges, let's leave those. Still, how much? Yeah. 
What does it want? Drop this one. Lava boost jar. Oh wow. What does this thing do? Plenge three energy cells in full. Activation used from the inventory. Cyber Boost Pro Energy is an artificial food energy source packed with proteins and carbohydrates. Yeah, I mean, it's probably a cool thing to have. Um, yeah, I mean, we do have a lot of money anyway, so maybe we actually we hold on to this one. And then we're just collecting the shotgun cartridges. Let's leave the shotgun behind. It's painful, I know. 750... Yeah, 750... Uh, credits. Time to use the pissoir. Oh, there's something here actually, on the table. Oh, that's just the newspaper. Yeah, we don't want to be seen by anybody actually. Who are these guys? Well, let's find out. We could actually just walk in and talk with them. Oh. Can they see us? Yes, they can. Let's not destroy the, the boxes. That's better. Clearance. There we go. Lots of time. Access granted. Ah. Always being pushed around by the door. Okay, well, but this is good. Blurring the boundaries between man and machine, excerpted from a talk given by Hugh Darrow at the 2001 International Gathering of Neuroscientific Research for a mechanical bioprothesis to work, a patient must be implanted with a device that powers its electronics. The problem is generating power requires chemicals which are toxic to the body. So unless we find a way to harness electricity that is already present in the central nervous system, we are bound to fail. There's a second problem as well. Preliminary research into power harnessing biochips suggests that our immune system will perceive these devices as foreign invaders and immediately send proteins to encapsulate them. Over time, scar tissue will build up between the PHB and surrounding tissue, resulting in neuroprosthesis failure. So how do we avoid this? Dow Industries is working on a plan to grow networks of poly 3 4 ethylene Ethy ethylene dioxithiophene 
polystyrenes sulfonate electrodes, PDOT, if you will, that intertwine with neural cells. The goal is to create a biocompatible matrix with att which attracts neural progenitor cells to grow in the proper direction, blurring the boundary between what is nervous system and what is external device. The neural environment where implanted biochip and live neural cells coexist, even migrate and evolve over time, will not only be safer and more effective for the end user, it will be the ultimate melding of man and machine. Yeah, that is very interesting. So I was also thinking about how to actually power any cyberware and then, I mean, the ADP, yeah, the body's uh, chemical way of generating um, energy is actually very efficient in relation to most other known forms. And harnessing that one would be good, but then of course we would have to eat more, right? And then I guess these babies come in. Yeah, very, very high energy uh, foods. So that, are, that needs to be still healthy, of course. Let's take this one. Oh wow, what's that? Oh wow, now that is now that is great and beautiful. Wow. Okay, let's go this way. 25%. So this is like really hard. Spamming and soften this one. Oh, we can't go there, okay. Let's go here then. Detection even reduced. Very nice. Zero there. Just fifteen. Twenty-five there. Fifteen here, and then we can start over there. Ah, oh, yeah, very good. Oh, we are like a ghost. We are like a true ghost over here. Excellent. Access granted. They never knew we were here. Encrypted. From encrypted. Interesting. So, obviously we are not pleased, but the mission was risky from the start. It was probably not wise to put so much trust in a single outside asset. The Dutchman is good, but he's also temperamental and impulsive. No doubt he panicked and severed the link. We'll try to find him. Oh, that's probably the person behind that hacker who was forced to kill himself. Huh? We will try to find him, and in the meantime, proceed with the recovery of UO. You will, ha you will have what you need. Okay, and uh, triple six road missions awash. Deload stop before completion. No word from UO or Dutchman since. Pikers reports at least one PFT dead. We assume him. If so, DMPD will have corpse. Will need assistance from your end to recover. Advice. Ah, yeah. One private. Like, I'm not sure. Not a contractor, but yeah, I guess this refers to the hacker. Urgent, Sergeant, I understand you are upset with what happened at the morgue, but you must sympathize with my position as much as I would like to make sure that your interests are protected, not to mention the interests of the people you take orders from. There's only so much I can do. I cannot find out who dropped the ball and string them up accordingly as TOO. Much interference from me is likely to raise eyebrows, and that is something none of us wants at this juncture. I suggest you get on with your extraction from our premises. Oh, that's the government person. Manderley, who is actually J.M. J. Manderley. Uh, who wrote to the guys. What kind of rinky-dinky operation you run in, Mandali? You were supposed to have that morgue locked down. Now I look like a Luciana polecat caught out on the bayou with its knickers down. Sergeant. Mm -hmm. That's interesting, okay. So, but uh, we know they, they, uh, they noticed the stuff that we did. Yeah. So things, things are actually also getting closer. 
to our position and situation, right? So, okay, then we have the civilians over here. But that was actually a very nice hack, I think. So let's just... Ah, oh, there. No, we can't get in there. Okay, so let's talk with them. Man, they left us one hell of a mess. Those vents must be rat infested by now. Hey, who the hell are you? We bluff. Cool it, guys. We're pulling out, but I can't leave without my stuff. Cool it, guys. Orders are to pull out, but I can't leave without my stuff. Yeah, right. Getting into the barracks requires a security code. Tell me what it is, and maybe I'll let you through. Yeah. What's the passcode, pal? 7984, asshole. Now back off or I tear you two stooges another one. Fine. Just make sure you clean up your mess back there before you leave. The stooges? Uh, well, actually, I mean, that was kind of fun, but uh, we want to hack. We want to hack this stuff, right? Or maybe we can do both. I think the guy... Well, of, of, on the other hand, we don't want to be seen. Right? So that was here. We don't want to be seen at all from these guys. Ah. No, actually... Oh, the, so this door here... No, it's already open. Ah, no, this is the bathroom. This, this is the ladies' bathroom, I guess. Well, nothing is ever happening except for flushing the toilet when we are clicking on the... when we are hitting the toilet, right? toilet flush but well whatever so then actually ah we need to get through there oh no okay so we have to talk with them otherwise we are not getting through that's there like through here yeah and otherwise we would be here and then I think the the turret was here yeah so we have to do it we have to talk with them okay well then let's bluff it then man they left us one hell of a mess those vents must be rat infested by now hey who the hell are you cool it guys orders are to pull out but I can't leave without my stuff. Yeah, right. Getting into the barracks requires a security code. Tell me what it is, and maybe I'll let you through. Yeah. What's the passcode, pal? 7984, asshole. Now back off or I tear you two stooges another one. Fine. Just make sure you clean up your mess back there before you leave. I liked his mimic. <laughs> okay, but we can't we can't hack this one right now, right? Yeah, they are watching. We do have some lasers there, sniper rifle ammo. We just love the air vents, right? Let's let us just have a short look. Ah, this door here just leads to the corridor, okay? So let's have a look into this one here. Explorer. Oh, okay. Ah. That is actually convenient. Let us hack. We can't get around any uh, anything that we can hack, right? Without hacking it. So detection is here, clearance. This one first. Oh, come on. Disconnect. Okay. 
Clearance. Fifteen percent. This one is also twenty five. Oh, we've got lots of time. Okay, nice. Good. Inactive. Doesn't look like anybody got suspicious in any way. Good. And let's look through this door. Ah, yeah. Oh, there's something there. And well, we could use this one here, I guess, to climb over there, but yeah. Probably not necessary, huh? No, we can't get around, okay. And just to make sure, was there anything here? No, there isn't. It's just their stuff. Oh, there's someone over there, okay. Did you hear the door? Hello? If anyone is hiding here, you better come out. We are pretty big. There you go. That's oh, alarm. He was alarmed, right? That's actually good. That's fine. They are unalarmed. It was just this guy. And he was so foolish. And didn't... Alarm his friends. But yeah, with these guys... They are rather complaining. Than appreciate if someone is, uh, is actually... Careful, okay, so let's hack this one here, but we need to be very careful, I think. No one can see us. Oh, it's just security ranking 2, okay. Clearance here. 15. Good. Oh, come on. Yeah, I misclicked that one again, but now it doesn't matter. We have so many. Access granted. Stop worm, yeah. So we are even out, and no one noticed. Good. Don't care right now. For the perfection, or oh, this is like an interrogation room or something. The Coalition for Liberty, the UN's responsibility to the world in an age that has seen the rise of terrorism as a means of geopolitical change in an age where no one, no one nation can truly be called upon to shoulder the burden of security and law enforcement. One must dare to consider that the time has come for the United Nations to step up and accept this responsibility. 
force unbound by borders on the whims of governments and corporate interests is needed in this uncertain time. In the wake of ongoing atrocities perpetrated by fanatics and criminals, the need for such an organization cannot be denied. It is proposed that the UN commence a series of evaluation studies to consider with great seriousness the future creation of a new transnational anti-terror force. The freedoms we take for granted are under siege and without guardians of liberty they may be lost. Yeah, well, if these guys had known what actually happened later on. Yeah, so we can just save here. Ah, oh, there's nothing there, okay, so... Still being careful. Ah, fell out of, out of someone's pocket, I guess. Beautiful that we were able to switch off the cameras there. Ah, it's a guy up there, okay. Okay, he didn't see us there, that's good. That is good indeed. We are collecting more and more evidence. Write and confiscate stuff do we have here pocket secretary most wanted please be advised that the following names have been added to the adex list in the event of martial law each one of them is to be arrested and transported to the nearest containment facility interesting jasmine roy edgar orlando oliva john christophe gibordo sebastian boulet matthew hole ricardo mojuero Mejuero Francois Turcot. I think we if not we we have not uh, heard these names before, right? Um like this right so that's not us. That's fine. Quick saving. Okay, well, then we can check out these two. Very good. Nothing here. Nothing there. Nothing there. All right. Oh, that, did I hack that one? I think I think not, right? Another pocket secretary. We've been from encrypted to encrypted. We've been assigned a single terminal for the duration of this mission. We'll use it to communicate with the UO, the Dutchman and HQ, and only the three of us are to touch it. Understood? Same room as before, different login. Bullskull. Ibaret. Well, okay. Yeah, so actually... Yeah, forgot to hack this one.
That is an easy one, or as easy as it gets. Fortifying the clearance there, that's good. Oh yeah, well, but that was just typical. Access granted. And there we go. All right, nice. Oh, and we get a praxis point, that's good. All right. Very nice indeed. And how do we invest that one? That's the big question. We have two points now. So now we can actually use the double takedown again. And um, that is nice. That's good that we have the option. There are these two guys. Are there actually four guys? I feel that we are probably not uh, be able that we are not going to be able to take them out. We have not found any computer terminal yet. To neutralize that turret, which is a bit sad, but maybe over there. Well, we could actually attract this guy's attention and then take him out, huh? Does he hear something? No, it is so far, too far away. Some energy. Another ebook, Rex 84, operational field notes. Aha, that's the Rex. Reference to operation garden plot. Extend to the operational results from continuity of government Rex 84 Alpha X plan, X plan subsection of Department of Defense Civil Disturbance Plan 55-2, operation garden plot, or 55 minus two. Operation Garden Plot regarding large-scale suppression, arrest, determine of civilians during national crisis situation, function, suppress insurgents whenever unlawful assemblages or rebellion against the authority of the United States make it impractical to enforce law in any state or territory by the ordinary course of judicial proceedings. Application of forces, local and state policy, army, police, army and in support role, air national guard under state control, federal civil law enforcement officials, federal military forces to include army and in support role, air national guard. The minimum forces to be supported in the Detroit objective area is 5,000, the maximum is 12,000, as specified by executive order in which said forces have been directed to restore law and order. Okay. So it kind of sounds a little bit as if they want to misuse martial law or something. Yeah, I mean that's that's a thing. I wonder if we can could just shoot the guy there in the head. And if the others would notice that, let's try it. like so and then here but well, we need to take out the guy on the other hand that's up there maybe first huh? can we get around there somehow probably not like from up there those are these stairs Yeah, we are very exposed there. Let's try it from here. Once the guy is like standing there. Okay, it's too much. 
Damn it, you see this? Okay. Yeah, okay, no. And then we are no ghosts anymore as well. Um, so the big question is how to get down those stairs. But otherwise I think we have we, we have uh, checked out everything here. All rooms. I'm I'm rather certain that there was nothing here. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, on the other hand, let's let's try something like on the outer side. Like we took out this guy here, right? And that guy. So we could probably like sneak around over there. I'm not sure if the guys can see us, the two that are standing there. Now they, will, now they can see us if we go here. We had tried that one before, right? Okay, ah, well. Then we need to go around. Like around here. And then here, like there. Uh, I'm disoriented. Oh, but by the way, take this one. No, that was fine. Yeah, just straight ahead. Okay. I mean like here yeah they can see us but we can probably sneak around from behind with this guy that is like patrolling below us right now like here maybe like shooting him from here oh no the the turret is here ah oh, the turret The turret is the thing. So, but maybe on the other side then. Yeah. Maybe on the other side. But we couldn't hack the turret, right?
There you go, right? That's good and they can't see him. Okay, very good. We are like a ghost and they can't see him there, right? We could throw some form of grenade down there. But then the turret will pick everything up. But let's try it. So we, we took out this guy. They didn't notice. He's walking around. And let's see, so this is a frag grenade, a concussion grenade, right? So, so. Let's try it. It just pushes them to the ground. On him! Ah, yeah, well, I have no idea how they can see us right now, but uh, but that was interesting. Okay, he's also throwing huh. a grenade. Oi, oi, oi. Yeah, that's nice, right? Okay, let's make some let's make some action with this. There you go. I need suppression fire. Die. Cover me. Cover me. You would think that we are actually right here. Already dead. Well, that's fun. Okay, then. So let's quick load. So it doesn't work like that. Um, and maybe we are not getting to all three of them because the turret is actually uh, protecting them. And well, I wonder, like, we can't hack, like, on a distance, right? Like this thing here. Maybe let's try it. Like the hack, like this one here. Turret domination. Disable turrets linked to security hubs or turn them against their allies. Well, they weren't, this one is not linked, though, so it will not work. It will not, it will not work. So. I think this is all that we can do here, unless there's actually something else on this side, but I don't think so. No, there's nothing. Check out that. We checked out everything, I think. I guess we can only, I guess we can only sneak down stairs when this guy is uh, making his turn like on the left side of the stairs otherwise it doesn't look like there's anything oh he doesn't have anything okay oh well Oh, and he saw us, okay. I have the turret saw us, okay. No, but there's nothing here. Okay, I'm just doing this for the walkthrough. Like, of the walkthrough aspect. But there's nothing here. So, I, in my opinion, uh, it's not possible to do this. 
as it goes. And so let's load this one. So it's not possible to do this as a ghost, I think, because we found all computer terminals. Well, I mean, maybe it's on another floor or something. But like here, uh, I think it's there's nothing. So we can only go upstairs. And then you go go back further down. Oops. Yeah, here. Unless there is something here that we can hack that we didn't find yet. It's to the right side. Maybe there's something here. Oh, this is the infirmary, okay. That's good, a hypostim. Lots of other stuff. There's something there. Credit chip 220. I guess that's not the tip of a nurse. Pocket secretary, what does it say? Look, it's not your fault. You couldn't have predicted the extent to which one man would go to ensure that his assets stay loyal. The important thing is none of them died, and because of that, we still have this chance to make a real change. If any other surgeon had been in that room instead of you, I doubt we'd be saying that. Hmm, that's a bit cryptic. Some more painkillers. But maybe that no one died referred to us being very, very civil. Yeah, probably. So let's see. Okay, well, so there we go. And what happens behind this button for the elevator, my dear fellow agents and cyberpunks? We will see in the next episode. Thanks for watching. See you next time. And. Please don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet, so you never ever miss an episode again. See you next time, bye bye.